Okay. See, I don't think I've seen this before. Are you all at the right screen now? This one, I think it will drop. Okay. So now I want this. I'm doing tutorial question 19. Remember the two blocks that follow by a string. So I select, I select the, I select the block and I, I put here. Hey, how do you do that? Magic. <laughs> so now I enter, I enter this here. Okay. Now when I press run, this block will be will be down here. So maybe say uh, in in our normal tutorial classroom lesson, we say something as we select the object. We want to look at the define define vector. Then you select those things you want to see. For example, I want to see gravity force. Uh, press run, gravity force appear. Oh, gravity force appear. Now I got the mass. What was the mass? Huh? Two, right? One, four, 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 four. The first one was four, and the second one was four, right? Two, right? Huh? Okay. Now this is now two kilograms. You press run, the weight of gravity is 19.6. Okay, can you follow this, do this uh, at, at the same time? Then you got question, have to raise up your hand and ask. Okay? Now there's another object here. Okay? Now put another box here. Okay, put another box here. Okay, adjust it. Okay? Double click on it. Change the mesh to 4. Okay, now I press, now I go to define, go to def I need to select this object first, then I press to define, I want to look at the vector called gravity force. Okay, when I press run, the free body diagram for the gravity come up. Okay, uh, reset. Now, for example, I want to look at something called contact force, so I go to define, Vector, I will select contact force. Okay, now I press run, it will show you the contact force. So this, this uh, in our tutorial is represented by one single force. Interactive physics needs to show both because it is more complicated. It is trying to control the rotation equilibrium. So it shows as two. So what you do is this, you need to take this plus this to give to give us our R. Okay, same thing. Stop or reset. Select this object. Now I want to see. I want to see the vector moment. Not not properly calibrated. Contact force, ah, contact force. Okay. So now you press one. This one also show its contact force. Okay. Reset. Now I want to do something more special. Well, there's a string between the two, right? Am I correct? So string, uh, it's very simple. Look at interactive physics. Uh. You look at which one you put the mouse here. You leave it there long enough. Uh. So it says it's a rope. Can you see? At the bottom it says it's a rope. So I want to connect it with a rope. So I select this. Now I connect here to here. And I release. Okay, now I press run. These two are connected by a rope. Okay, reset again. Now I believe something is being pushed, is it? Something is being pushed. Yeah? So you need to look at, try to look for a force. So force, which one look like a force? So this fella, right? Select this, then the thing here. Does it show? See, force, apply a force on the single body. So now I apply a force. Now this force is pushing the object to the right. So what I do is I now I select this already, this force. I select here right in the CG. Then I let go. Then double click on the force. I make the force uh, same as the tutorial question, which was how much? How much was the force? 12. 12. Okay, so I select 12. 
Check the tutorial question. I think this is two, this is four. Yeah, I press one, ah. see ya. Ah. Hey, see ya, ah. the thing was just one. Ah. Don't say I never want you. Ah. Yeah, okay, never move. Okay, okay, I didn't move. Okay, reset. Reset. Select this one. Now look at the look at the resistance. Where are you? Look at the resistance vector. Frictional force. Okay. So now press one. What's on the appear? Frictional force is zero, right? Any frictional force is four, now. Okay, I think. Okay. Uh, what you need to do now is this. Huh? Double click on this. And you see there are two numbers here. Double click on the mass. And you see these two numbers. What does it say? Friction, right? So this one makes to zero. Make to zero. The other one makes to zero. Yes, because the question originally was zero. I do the same thing here. Both zero. Ah, both zero. <laughs> okay, now I press run. It should it should work now. Okay, so you will accelerate. Okay, follow on. You will accelerate to the right, just like in the tutorial situation. I'm interested in not just seeing. Uh, select the object. Uh, go to measure, 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 measure the acceleration for all, for all, then the acceleration graph will come up. So now I press one, you can see the values, okay, press one again, I'm going to stop here, then I'm going to use a time bar. So you can see that uh, now the object is accelerating. Is the answer two or not? See, perfect answer. Okay. Now, the last thing now is this. Uh. Uh, reset. Reset. Select the string. You notice we are not able to measure the tension, right? So select the string. Okay. Go to measure. Measure tension. <laughs> Exciting, isn't it? This. Okay. You press run. So now the tension come out. If I'm not wrong. Okay. The tension just now come out. Huh? Under the. Under the value here, four. <laughs> see four. Can you see? Now if. If these are uh, if these words uh, appear to be too small for your eyes, you select the object. <laughs> select this object. Go to view. Change the number. A uh, view size. Uh, sorry, yeah. Uh, uh, object on phone. Uh, select it bigger so that everybody can see. Select this uh, sorry, object. Uh, select this object again. Go to object, font size, change it to slightly bigger. Okay, now I will go around to help you to build your circuit. Okay, any question, please uh, let me know.